I have a 2017 Jeep Cherokee here. This one got hit in the back and it actually buckled both of the frame rails right here in the same spot on the other side. So it's gonna get these back sections. There's a joint right here. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clamp this one up and measure it and make some poles and get everything squared up before I cut it apart. All right, now I'm gonna measure this frame. First thing, I have to pick five points in the center of the vehicle to match the measuring system to the vehicle so it knows exactly where it's sitting. Then, once I do that, I can measure the back rails and see how far off they are and where I need to pull everything to. Bunch of different attachments for this, and it tells you which ones to use depending on which point you're going to. All right, so now I'm gonna come back to the back and measure the rear frame rails and see how far off they are. All right, I'm gonna make some pulls on this. When this one got hit and it folded up this frame rail, it actually pushed this up. So whenever it kind of went down, it went up. I almost think it would be the opposite, but I'm gonna go ahead and make some down pulls and bring this down and square up this back end. I am back onto this Jeep Cherokee. I got one of my frame rails in today. I'm still waiting on the other one, but I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this side apart. Now they have a sectioning procedure. It's 80 millimeters back from this hole right here. So my sectioning joint's gonna be right in this area. I'm gonna start cutting this back section out and I will trim back, I'll cut it long to start with and I'll trim back, that, back to that line, but I don't wanna to cut too far to start with. So I'm gonna start getting that cut out.
Well, I got that piece all trimmed out just like I want it. And now I have to trim out the section I'm gonna use off of this new piece. So I'm gonna cut this floor pan top off and then I'll make my cut in the frame rail right where I need it. I got this frame rail section all fit up. I'll measure it out at the same time as I do this one. If I have to move it just a hair, I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this one all cut out now. So this frame rail is all fit up. This one is all trimmed out, but I'm still waiting on my part to show up. It's not here yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this, measure this one, see if it's where it's supposed to be, and weld it in. There it is, now the car is centered to the measuring system. Now I can come back here and measure this frame section out, make sure it's exactly where I want it. This one measures out perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this frame rail in and hopefully my other one will show up early tomorrow so I could get it finished up on that set as well.